today we will make a program to calculate factorial of a number so for those who don't know what a factorial is let's uh, talk about it first so factorial of a number is basically it uh, n n multiply so if n is a number then factorial will be n multiply n minus 1 multiply n minus 2 up to it will keep on going up to 1 so I need to add multiplication here so it is the multiplication of all the numbers occurring uh, before it until we reach 1 so this is how we calculate factorial uh, so suppose we want to calculate the factorial of 5 so uh, in this case our n is 5 so first we write 5 then we multiply it n minus 1 that is 5 minus 1 will be 4 then we multiply it by 3 then by 2 and then by 1 and that's it when we reach 1 uh, that is our last number we go, we need to go to up to 1 um, so to multiply uh, to uh, program that uh, first uh, I'm I have created an object of the scanner class uh, then I have two uh, numbers one is the num variable which is n which is our n and f is a variable in which we will hold our factorial so this is where we hold our result so normally when we calculate uh, uh, when we use a holding variable we initialize it to zero but that's when we are adding a number so if for example if we add zero so if we add two to zero it will give us two right but if we multiply two with zero we will get zero so that's why i have initialized it to one since we are carrying a multiplication so one doesn't matter anything times one equals to one same way anything added to zero equals to that number whatever we are adding into so first i am taking an integer input from the user and then i am using a for loop to calculate the factorial so my starting value is 5 uh, so uh, actually my starting value is whatever the num will be so let's suppose user enters 5 so my i will start from 5 and the loop will keep executing as soon as i is greater as long as i is greater than or equal to 1 so as soon as i reaches 1 it will still execute but after it ha it becomes smaller than one that is as soon as it becomes zero our loop will terminate then i am using the decrement operator since we are going below we will start from five and then we will go to four three two and one uh, that's how the values of i will vary so uh, first uh, uh, we are uh, i am repeatedly multiplying f by i so let's dry run our code see how it works so first i am uh, multiplying for initially value of i is one but uh, then uh, one is multiplied by five so the value of f becomes five since the value of i is uh, five so in the next uh, iteration uh, the value of i becomes four since it is as it has decremented then again when it is multiplied uh, with f so initially we have 5 in f uh, so 5 is stored in f but now 4 is being multiplied so it will produce 20 so now f is 20 now the value of num is 3 so uh, now 3 is multiplied by 20 which produces 60 then uh, uh, 2 is multiplied with uh, 60 since i is 2 now and f is 60 then we get 120 and then in the end uh, one uh, the value of i becomes one one is multiplied by 120 it still produces 120 and uh, then the value of i is again decremented which becomes zero so now i is zero so when uh, our program checks this condition this condition is not true therefore it breaks the loop it doesn't execute this statement since the loop has been broken and then it executes the next statement which is the simple printing of uh, the our n and our f so that's how our program works let's try running it so it's asking for a number let's enter 5 so as you can see it is now telling us refractorial of 5 is 120 we can calculate uh, 
vectorial of, of higher numbers so for example uh, let's try 6 now we, we are getting 720 since uh, 120 multiplied by 6 equals 720 so that's how it is done also you have heard of it that factorial of uh, 0 is 1 so let's try entering 0 so as you can see it is giving us 1 since in case of 0 this statement is never executed this loop is never executed and uh, that's why but uh, we have the default value 1 so what if user enters a negative number so let's try entering negative number so we have entered minus 5 it is still giving us negative 5 so 1 so we need to enter uh, use a if condition so if num is less than 0 so that is if num is any negative value then we are gonna print that invalid input and then we are gonna exit our program right here we don't need to execute the next statement now we will exit it by using system.exit so now we'll, our program will close right here uh, also uh, I haven't included curly brackets for this loop since there is only one statement as you know you need curly brackets when there are more than once uh, one statement or you can add them and it will be okay too so now i added curly brackets also but that's it for today's video thank you for watching